What's up everybody, it's Charles, and today we're gonna to be teching out the DeWalt 20 volt XR brushless impact driver and drill combo set. The impact driver was my most used tool at the dealership. It's funny, you would think like a torque wrench or a pneumatic impact gun would be the most used. Nope, it was one of these guys. In fact, in about 2004, the DeWalt was my very first set I bought. So DeWalt always has a little bit of extra affinity from me. In the kit, you get the impact driver, you get the drill, you get a two amp hour battery, a four amp hour battery, a charger, and a carrying case. I never really use these carrying cases, but it's nice that it comes with something. Current retail for this kit is $2.99, actually. At the time of filming this video right now, it's on sale at Home Depot for 50 bucks off, so $249, which I think is a really great deal for this combo set. Let's start with the impact driver. The impact driver has a quarter inch hex fitting. With the two amp hour battery, it weighs in at 2.14 pounds. With the four amp hour battery, it's just over three pounds. Personally, I like to run this one with the two amp hour battery. It's almost a pound lighter, which throughout the day really does add up as far as arm fatigue. You have three different modes you can set it to. You have precision mode, which is slow. It limits to 20 pound feet of torque and right about a thousand RPM. In normal mode, which is mode two here, you have a limiter of 2,800 RPM and 125 pound feet of torque. And in high speed, which is really what I use it for the most, you have a max RPM of 3,250 and 152 pound-feet of torque, and a maximum impact per minute of 3,800. It's got three LEDs at the front to light up the work surface. These LEDs will stay on for about 20 seconds after the last trigger pull. The chuck lock is super easy. You can slide the bit right in. You don't have to pull the chuck away and then slide the bit in, which I really like. You also only have to pull the collar a little bit in order to release it. Even with that short pull, I never had one of the bits come out of the tool. The handle has a rubber grip and the tool's really well balanced, especially with the two amp hour battery. You can use it with the four amp hour battery, but I just think it throws the balance of the tool off. The trigger is nice and easy to pull and can easily be varied at low, mid, and high speeds, depending on what you're working on. When you're working on something like interior work, dropping it down to that first setting and being able to feather the trigger really helps prevent breaking components. And it will pull properly torqued wheel bolts off. I wouldn't probably use this as my recommended go-to standard tool to pull wheel bolts out or lug nuts off, but it will do it in a pinch. Overall, I really like this impact. It's light, it's powerful, it's small, it's comfortable to hold, and it takes wheel bolts off in a pinch, which I really dig on. I really like the bigger button for changing modes, so that way, if you're wearing bulkier gloves, you can do that without having to take your gloves off. There was one issue that I did run into, and I don't think it's a deal breaker for me, but it may be for some of you. And that is that the bit actually wobbles quite a bit inside the drive. You can see here way slowed down, that bit's kind of walking all over the place. And the more weight that you put on it, really the worse that it gets. Typically for me, I have the tool on the stock before starting, and I'm starting slow and working up to speed. So it's not too big of a deal. But if you're using this to run screws in, like into wood, that might be an issue. I also worry about that issue long term as something that may wear a little bit more than normal. So doing things where you need speed and precision could be an issue. While actually using it on a car or in application, I didn't really notice it that much, but again, it is something you may wanna be aware of. Moving on to the drill. Now the drill is not something I'm going to use nearly as much especially in an automotive application, as I would the impact driver. I think an automotive, the impact driver is a far better daily tool to use. But you still need a drill in your toolbox. I think I spent the majority of my drilling time drilling out rivets for things like speakers and convertible tops. The drill pretty much gives you everything you're going to expect out of a modern cordless brushless drill. It has two speeds. Speed one limits to 550 RPM. Speed two is about 2000 RPM. With the two amp hour battery, it weighs in at 3.08 pounds. With the four amp hour battery, which is what I would use it with, it weighs in just over four pounds. It has an adjustable torque collar with 13 different settings. 
It also has a hammer feature if you're doing something like masonry work. Nice bright LED light that lights up the work surface really well. I mean, there's not much really to be sad about with this drill. The only thing that I found a little odd, and there's probably a hundred applications for it, is a mode called spotlight mode with the light. What this does is this leaves the LED on at full brightness for about 20 minutes. And the weird thing I thought is that that's the only way you get full brightness out of the LED. Not a big deal, just something that struck me as a little strange. Of course, both tools do feature a belt clip. I never really liked hanging them on my pants. I did use the clips to hang them on my roll cart though. Also, both batteries do have charge level indicators, which is always nice to see. Now, some of you may be wondering, Charles, why, why do you want the smaller battery? Wouldn't you want the bigger battery with more more runtime? Well, yeah, more runtime's great, but also fatigue is a factor, balance is a factor. I do feel like with the four amp hour battery, the drill's more balanced, and with the two amp hour battery, the impact driver's more balanced. That's just my preference. As always with reviews, these are just my experiences, my opinions, your mileage and usage may vary. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Shout out to Home Depot and DeWalt for hooking me up with these to test drive. And uh, I've been pretty impressed with the impact driver. Don't forget to subscribe and ding that notification bell. I'll put links to this as well as everything else I showed you guys today down in the description. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.